Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for iron, Fe. And the first thing we need to do, we need to write the electron configuration for iron. So iron on the periodic table, its atomic number is 26. That means it has 26 protons, but it also has 26 electrons. Iron is a neutral atom, as are all the atoms on the periodic table here. So let's write the configuration, and we'll use the pattern here on the periodic table. So iron, that's right here. And if we just follow this here, we start with 1s. That's the first energy level. We have 1s1, 1s2. Then we're at the second energy level, 2s2. Go over to 2p. p holds up to 6. We've used 10 of the electrons. And then we're at the third energy level. We have 3s1, 3s2. And over to the p. p holds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3p6, 4s2. And then we go over 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3d, 6, and that's iron. So this is our electron configuration for iron. If you add these numbers up, we've used the 26 electrons. Now let's use this to write the atomic orbital diagram for iron. So both of these notations, what we're trying to do is show where the electrons are around the iron nucleus, the nucleus of the iron atom. You could think of the nucleus as right here, and then we have these energy levels around it, kind of like shells. So We'll start with the 1s2. We have two electrons opposite directions, 2s2, 2p6. We spread the p's out before we pair them up. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and finally our 3d6. We spread them out before pairing them up. We've used five and then there's that six. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for iron. Sometimes you'll also see this written here in a more horizontal fashion like this. It's the same thing, it's just horizontal. And all of these, we're just trying to show where these electrons are around the nucleus of the iron atom. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for iron. Thanks for watching.